Hello friends, in this video we will learn about the character and date string functions in the web intelligence. This is related to the unit 5. So the theory sections I have already covered and the link for that video you will find uh, in this video description. I recommend you go through that video first so that you will better understand the functions I will be going to cover this here. Okay, so let's understand first means how we can uh, use left function then uppercase function and then uh, uh, string concatenations how we can apply this string concatenation so let's create a one report with the new universe let's i am taking this island uh, resource marketing uh, universe as a test so um, i will take few objects here and one of the major as the resolution re revenue Just run the query now. So if you see, means these objects are got created. So now this is a customer name, if, and if I just want to extract the first letter of this customer name, then what I can use? I can use a left function. So how I can use? Let's say I'm creating. Um, so I'm just creating a first uh, letter of customer as a variable. So here, if you see in the all means, you will find the left function. Just double click on it. Once you double click there, you will see a function. Uh, it comes here and uh, you can add this customer name here. As you just want one character from left, so just give one here and just click on OK. The formula is correct so that you can just click on OK. So now if you see means, if I just drag it, drag it here, you will see the first letter is coming like this. Now, if I want to make this upper and lower, then how we can do this? Upper case customer. So this is upper. If I want to a uh, lower case as well, then I can use it uh, lower as well. But for now, means I'm just using a upper case so that and I'll put customer in a bracket and just verify it. And if I drag it here, you will see all the uh, names are in uppercase. Now I will show you means how we can concatenate the string with these objects. So let's create an example, a uh, new variable. So I will sh just say display subtotal. Okay. Here, uh, I'll just uh, write some um, plain text like suppose subtotal for, I just wanted to say subtotal for uh, the customer. I will add this customer. So the plus icon, plus uh, symbol which is being used is to concatenate the normal string with the objects. And I can say is Again, a plain string and concatenating with the I can say a reservation revenue. So this is a, a measure. So we are concatenating the normal string with the dimension objects. Again, a normal string uh, again uh, with the uh, major objects. So this we can achieve. And let's say, I mean, suppose I wanted to display it here. So you will see, means this is being. Uh, displayed like this subtotal for the customer name is whatever the customer name appears here it will come up here okay so this is all about uh, how we can concatenate string then left function right function right function is also same as if i just wanted to uh, let's see means if i want to show you means If I make this as a right, okay, right of customer, okay, so this will, what it will give, if you see this value, see, what is the right function, right letter, so R, that, that will come up here, because I have modified this variable first letter with that right function. 
okay uh, now uh, we will go to the date function so for that uh, means i'll just close this uh, and we'll create a new do document with the e fashion in us and i'll add a store name and from the store details i add opening date because we wanted to format this opening date and i'll just click on run query so if you see this results it is showing like um, date with the time date with the time and seconds as well so whatever means it is so what we want to we want uh, to extract the date only uh, with date only date with the year but not the date and time or uh, time so the, if you want to ex extract that date and time so we can use the substring function so for that purpose we just need to create a new function uh, variable i'm just creating a new variable so in that we will add this substring function so i will say uh, date open and i will use the substring function if we go to this all functions there is substring function just double click on it and here uh, means in this first thing is uh, substring if we see this uh, returns a part of string the first is input string the start and then length of that particular string so i can say means opening date i need to get the substring from the opening date i will give the semicolon then i wanted to start from first character and then from as i don't know the exact time and uh, length or exact position of that uh, time part so what we can use we can use a position like pos function to get that particular length so there is a pos function here just use that uh, in this from the opening date what we wanted to wherever the you find the space where you find a space just get that position and minus 1 so before that whatever the part we just need to get okay so this is this is the formula what this formula will do this will extract the opening date Uh, some substring from opening date starting from one and then it will get the length of this uh, position of the opening date where the space uh, first space is coming so from that space whatever minus one is uh, the position just um, come back to by y minus one character and then just display that data so that means this is the date and start from this this first character to this first space and till the minus 1 point so let's see miss so if i want to display it here how it looks okay so let me go back miss what happened miss so string i have just open this uh, opening a date and then this is the starting point which i wanted it position uh, so i guess i i gave two space that's why it was not able to find it i just see so in that way means it will get the space first and then before that space whatever the part is there it will display here Uh, now if you want to format this with the uh, means how we can format uh, with the mmddyy format so to we'll create a new variable with the there is a two date function if we go by, uh, go the go to the functions and search for two date what is it will returns a date from a date as a string according to a date format so it will convert to date from string so this is the opening date which uh, so for for date open we have already uh, added created as a variable so we want that in a date format so we we'll just do this and click on okay 
so now if i say formatted date open so though the format is same but the uh, data type has been changed from a string to date now um, suppose we uh, we just wanted to extract the year from this uh, particular uh, string then how we can do this then we can just create a new variable we'll say uh, year open and there is a function year in available we can just use this formatted date variable and from that just uh, taken year and objects so let's take this year okay see so this is a coming a comma value so let's uh, format it to just make it to the normal number so that it will just appear as year okay so this is all about uh, the different functions related to the date and uh, string that we can use normal uh, basic functions that uh, we can use with the string means i also i i show you regarding left function string function then coming to uh, date functions like means how how we can use a substring then pos as to find the position of the uh, any character in the string then to date and a uh, year function so i hope you have understood these uh, concepts if you, if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section if if you like my video then please like my video if please subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching